In this video, three giants go head to head in a battle of specs. LG C3, Samsung S90C and the incredible Sony A80L. To get a fair battle, we'll be checking the abilities of these giants in different aspects of a perfect TV. That includes display, screen glaring, viewing angle, sound quality, gaming ability, design and power consumption, smartness, connectivity and input, and lastly, price. Before we continue, hit subscribe. First off is the display battle. Looking at screen resolution, all three TVs come with a 4K display, about 3480 by 2160 pixels, and can comfortably play any 4K content. But the LG C3 features a self-illuminating OLED display which produces the best blacks possible using the EVO panel technology. The EVO panel technology helps deliver richer colors on the OLED display. Now there's a difference between a regular OLED and OLED EVO. OLEDs are one of the best display types out there, but OLED displays aren't usually that bright, despite having the best picture quality and contrast level. OLED EVO solves that problem with an impressive additional brightness booster using LG's EVO panel, making it one of the brightest OLEDs out there. Lastly is the inclusion of the Alpha 9 Gen 6 4K processor and Alpha Realism, which refers to the realistic image and sound quality driven by LG's Alpha 9 AI processor 4K Gen 6. You'd also find the EVO panel on some other LG TVs like the LG G1. The Samsung S90C on the other hand features a quantum OLED display which we know as QD OLED. The QD OLED is a mixture of OLED and quantum dots used for QLED displays. Unlike the regular OLEDs, QD OLED TVs uses quantum dots to enhance not just brightness but also the color gamut level. The result of this is an infinite picture contrast and absolute black blacks using the Neural Quantum 4K processor. The Sony A80L also strikes hard with the XR OLED Contrast Pro display. The XR OLED is also a subclass of OLED but with a lot more artillery on the arsenal. So here are the extra things that separate XR OLED from a regular OLED display. Number 1, the XR processor and in this case the XR Triluminous Pro. Number 2, the XR Cognitive Processor and 3, XR OLED Contrast Pro. Beyond just brightness enhancement, the OLED XR has this special feature where sound from the TV can be channeled through different areas of the screen according to the action on display. The display and the sound on the XR OLED work together in a sync using the same quantum dots found on QLED and the QD OLEDs. XR OLEDs are also designed to be very cognitive and eye-friendly, beyond being just an ordinary display enhancement technology. All three TVs are OLED-based displays, so you'd find something called pixel-level dimming. Pixel-level dimming simply means that brightness can be controlled on different areas of the screen down to the individual pixel, giving you the highest level of blacks possible with extremely good contrast. That's why on the C3 for instance, you'd see something like pixel-level dimming with the inscription 8.3 million pixels. It simply tells you that if you're looking for local dimming, this TV has 8.3 million dimming zones, and the dimming zones are as tiny as each individual pixel. And things like blooming in a dark room is a myth. It doesn't exist. It also means that a thin white line can be accurately traced out without having any light spill. And the same goes for all three TVs. So here's a little disclaimer. Normal OLEDs are expensive. Enhanced OLEDs are even more expensive compared to normal OLEDs. That means a huge chunk of the manufacturing cost of all three TVs would be invested in the display hardware. The consequence of this is that if you were to experience a screen damage, replacing the display might cost more than half the price of the entire TV. Based on this info, it's safer to use a wall mount, especially if you're in a house with kids. And to prevent accidents from trying to stick a flash drive behind these TVs, it's advisable to use the USB extension kit we've added to the description of this video. Still on display, the LG C3 also has other image optimization features, like the Cinema HDR, also complemented by the OLED Dynamic Tone Mapping Pro and the HDR Expression Enhancer, including Dolby Vision, HDR10, and HLG. The C3 also features the Dolby Vision IQ, which further enhances the viewing experience. Another thing to pay attention to is the Alpha 9 Gen 6 4K AI processor. 
which is combined with the AI super of scaling and AI picture pro. The C3 also features the filmmaker mode, all rendered smoothly with a 120Hz refresh rate. Bringing the battle on, the Samsung S90C features an eye comfort mode. The eye comfort mode adjusts the TV's contrast based on ambient light. When it comes to HDR, it has HDR10, HDR10 Plus Adaptive Gaming, and HLG all running. Visuals appear lifelike with the Neural Quantum Processor 4K, especially with the Real Depth Enhancer. The S90C is also proficient in upscaling with the 4K AI upscaling. Just like LG C3, it also has the Filmmaker mode to ensure that the movie director's efforts aren't wasted. The S90C also features Motion Accelerator Turbo Pro, which helps the S90C deliver smooth transitions. On the sunny side of things, the A80L also offers a 4K screen resolution alongside high dynamic range capabilities, which include Dolby Vision, HDR10, and HLG. The XR Cognitive Processor and the XR OLED Contrast Pro further elevate the viewing experience. In terms of upscaling of contents, the XR 4K upscaling works real wonders. And the IMAX Enhanced Certification simply means the content is delivered as the filmmaker intended. Looking at the XR Triluminous Pro, well, it's the reason why the A80L produces more natural colors. The XR Triluminous Pro provides a wide color palette similar to what Dolby Vision tries to achieve using software. But this technology produces colors that are as close to nature as possible. In terms of refresh rate, all three TVs feature a 120Hz refresh rate, which is compatible with Xbox Series X and PS5 game consoles, although the S90C can do up to 144Hz on HDMI. This means that fast-moving scenes like the game scenarios can be properly rendered even on 4K without producing a blur or distortion. On the Sony A80L, this is further enhanced with the XR OLED motion. So who wins the display battle? Although they are all OLED-based displays, the brightness boost and richer colors provided by the Evo technology is supreme. Although the Sony XR OLED combo is smarter and the colors on the Quantum OLED on the S90C is hard to overlook, the C3 has this one. When it comes to viewing angles, the C3 and Sony A80L, thanks to their OLED panels, both maintain rich colors and clarity, even from wider angles. Perfect for living rooms with wider seating arrangements. Now, Samsung S90C is also OLED, but being a quantum HDR OLED, the colors might fade a tiny little bit from acute angles. Although the quantum dots are also used on the A80L, but it still delivers a wide viewing angle. Battling it out for the most minimal screen glare, LG C3 has good resistance. But under intense lighting, you might notice some reflections. Samsung S90C, posing an anti-reflective coating, has the upper hand in the bright rooms. Sony A80L performs similar to the LG C3, but when it comes to bright room performance, Samsung always shines, and the S90C is no exception. All three showcase impeccable technologies. While LG C3 and Sony A80L shines with better viewing angles, Samsung S90C takes the lead with the least screen glare. So do we call it a tie? Let's turn up the volume with the sound battle. Looking at sound quality, the LG C3 impresses you with a downward firing 2.2 channel speaker system. A champion sound clarity with both Dolby and DTS encoding, while also featuring the atmospheric Dolby Atmos. You can enjoy seamless Bluetooth 5.0 audio streaming and effortlessly sync with other compatible LG Sound devices thanks to LG Sound Sync. The C3 also features the AI Sound Pro which enhances audio quality intelligently. The C3 is wiser ready, ensuring a broader compatibility. On the other hand, the Samsung S90C offers a 2.1 channel speaker system that contains a powerful 40 watt amplifier. The S90C also has Dolby Atmos support, ensuring overhead sound effects are well represented. Unique to Samsung, the S90C features object tracking sound light technology, which provides a moving audio experience by syncing sound with the movement on the screen. We've seen this in Sony TVs like the A95K. The active voice amplifier ensures dialogue clarity, especially in noisy environments. Additionally, the S90C features Q Symphony, ensuring a broader and harmonious soundstage when paired with compatible Samsung soundbars like the Q990C. 
Up for the game, the Sony AATL strikes with its acoustic surface audio plus technology, which amazingly transforms the screen itself into a sound source. It houses a 3.2 channel speaker system delivering a robust 50 watts of audio power. The acoustic center sync feature ensures a harmonized sound experience, particularly when paired with compatible Sony soundbars. The 3D surround upscaling simulates a 5.1.2 channel sound environment, enveloping you in a cinematic audio experience. Despite LG C3 featuring Dolby Atmos and AI Sound Pro, simulating cinematic surround sound, and the Samsung S90C impressing us with object tracking sound light and Dolby Atmos support, none come close to the Sony A80L with its acoustic surface audio plus, turning the entire screen into a speaker. Sony A80L is the sound master for its game-changing sound technology. So Sony has this one. Game on, let's see who excels in gaming. The LG C3 showcases a commitment to gaming with its game optimizer feature, allowing you to customize your game settings. A crystal clear display is achieved with a 4K at 120Hz refresh rate across all HDMI inputs. This TV understands the need for a seamless gameplay, boosting compatibility with VRR, AMD FreeSync Premium, along with Nvidia G-Sync. The ALLM that is also low latency mode ensures that you experience minimal lag in gaming. The C3 also introduces HGIG mode for improved HDR gaming visuals. If you appreciate cloud gaming, the C3 has extended support for platforms like Nvidia GeForce Now and Utomic. On the other hand, the Samsung S90C steps into the gaming arena with its Game Motion Plus feature, enhancing the smoothness of in-gaming motion. It slightly edges out in display with 4K support up to 144Hz refresh rate on HDMI. You'd appreciate the FreeSync Premium and ELLM if you hate screen tearing and appreciate low input lag. The Super Ultra Wide Game View offers an expansive aspect ratio for a more impressive gaming experience. Also, the Game Battery 3.0 allows easy access to a variety of gaming settings, and the Game Hub integrates with platforms like Xbox Game Pass, Nvidia GeForce Now, Google Stadia, Utomic, and Luna, offering a vast array of gaming titles. Then, Sony ATL makes its mark with its 4K display at 120Hz. It supports variable refresh rate and auto low latency mode, ensuring a smooth and responsive gameplay experience. The auto HDR tone mapping is especially beneficial for your PS5. It optimizes visuals for the game console. Furthermore, the game menu provides easy access to a plethora of game settings, ensuring the best experience for users. So, who's winning the game battle? The C3 steals the show with Game Optimizer, 120Hz refresh rate, and support for cloud gaming. Samsung S90C is a gamer's dream with its super ultra wide game view and game bar 3.0. And the Sony AATL shines with 120Hz refresh rate, uh, along with VRR and a dedicated game menu. The gaming title is given to the LG C3 because it has the most comprehensive gaming features and a lot of thought and attention has been given to the gaming performance of this TV. Next we look at the battle for aesthetics and energy efficiency. The frame on the LG C3 is so thin it has an almost invisible bezel. It offers a seamless design that effortlessly blends into the background. The C3 Super OLED tech not only provides a vibrant display but also champions energy efficiency, boasting of a power consumption of just 115 watts for the 65 inch models, comprising of 120 AC voltage at 50 to 60 Hz power supply. If energy saving is your game, LG C3 is the name. Samsung S90C refuses to be overshadowed, merging elegance with the laser slim design. The 65 inch model of the S90C consumes 154 watts and operates with an AC volt of 220 to 240 volts at 50 to 60 hertz power supply. Sony ATL, on the other hand, takes sophistication to a whole new level with its one slate super minimalistic and metal flush design. But it doesn't stop at aesthetics, the ATL also shines with its OLED tech and an AC volt of 220 to 240 volts at a 50 to 60 hertz power supply. All TVs showcase sleek modern design and as for power supply, OLEDs are generally energy efficient. But in this battle, LG takes the title of energy saving master. So let's look at the battle for smartness. The LG C3 steps in with ThinQ AI platform, which intelligently enhances your user experience. Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, the Apple HomeKit and Apple 2 compatibility, which we believe would make streaming and home automation effortless. Additionally, the Spot Alert feature ensures fans never miss a moment of their favorite games. 
Lastly, the built-in Wi-Fi 5 ensures quick and stable connections for all its online functionalities. On the other side, the S90C brings its own voice control capabilities with the Bixby and Alexa, but if you're more of a Google user, it's also compatible with Google Assistant. The S90C stands out with its support for smart home protocols Zigbee and Thread Matter, giving it an edge in home automation. Like the LG C3, connectivity is smooth with the dual band Wi Fi 5, the Apple Apple 2 support, and the mobile to TV wireless mirroring. The Sony ATL, on the other hand, strikes with the Google TV interface, a built in Google Assistant on the remote and the wake word functionality for hands-free Google Assistant use. The AATL also features Netflix adaptive calibrated mode ensuring optimal viewing. Just like others, it sports a dual-band Wi-Fi 5 and Apple Apple 2 compatibility. Another unique offering is the exclusive content on Bravia Core, giving you a special range of shows and movies. So who wins the battle for smartness? LG C3 runs on LG ThinQ AI with built-in Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, and Apple HomeKit. Samsung S90C uses the Smart Hub with Bixby, Alexa, and Google Assistant compatibility. Sony ATL runs on Google TV with built-in Google Assistant and exclusive content on Brevia Core. LG C3 wins this battle for its universal Smart Home compatibility. So let's look at the battle for input sources. LG C3 strikes with 4 HDMI 2.1 ports, ensuring it's optimized for high-definition sources. More specifically, the HDMI 2 is equipped with an eARC that is enhanced audio return channel for a seamless audio transmission between the TV and sound systems. Additionally, legacy devices can utilize the RS232C input. There's an RF input for antenna or cable signals and the Toslink optical digital audio output for high quality audio transfer. Stable internet connectivity is also guaranteed via the Ethernet port. It offers three USB 2.0 inputs for multiple external devices. And for users leveraging infrared controls, the IR blaster port is a valuable addition. Samsung S90C matches the LG C3 in visuals, connectivity, with its 4 HDMI 2.1 inputs and further support for both ARC and eARC. Like the C3, it includes an RF input, Toslink, optical digital audio output, and an Ethernet port for stable online connections. However, it offers two USB 2.0 inputs, just one less than the C3. Finally, the Sony ATL brings a mixed HDMI offering with four HDMI inputs divided into two different versions, which is double 2.0 and double 2.1. Unique to the AATL also is the one composite video input catering to some older devices. Like the C3 and S90C, it also houses an RF input, Toslink Optical Digital Audio Output, and an Ethernet port. And like the S90C, it offers two USB inputs for external device connectivity. All three TVs meet the demand of a modern external device connection, only difference being an extra USB port on the LG C3. Coming last is the battle for price. But in this case, we've stated the price of all three TVs in the description of the video so you get updated prices in real time. So here's what we think. Better still, let's see what our audience think. So we carried out a poll to find out from our audience who currently use these TVs and this was the result. Each TV shines in its own terrain and offers the best in its game. The LG C3 is perfect for gamers and smart home enthusiasts. Samsung S90C is ideal for those seeking vibrant color fidelity and extensive gaming feature. The Sony ATL is a choice for immersive sound lovers and people who just love content. Subscribe for more buying guides and comparisons that help you make the best buying decision. Also, if you have a lower budget for a TV, watch our other video on the top 5 budget TVs. I'm Justin, bye bye.